So smartwatches are cool, but you got yourself an iPhone and you're thinking, man, that Apple Watch is just way too expensive. And you see all these Android Wear smartwatches that are priced much more reasonably and you wish you could use one of those with your iPhone. Hey, what is up guys, Austin here, hope you're all doing well, and I am back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can connect your Android Wear smartwatch to your iOS device. Kind of. So first things first, you're going to need a few things. An Android Wear smartwatch, an iPhone, and an Android device. Now I know what you're thinking, Austin, doesn't having an Android phone defeat the purpose of having Android Wear on iOS? And to answer that, no it doesn't. You just need it for one step and then after that you can ditch it. You also need two apps, BLE Utility on your iPhone and AirLink on your Android phone, both of which will be linked down right below that like button. To get started, you'll want to download AirLink from the Play Store onto your Android device. Once it finishes downloading, you want to head over to your watch and open the AirLink app and turn on the switch that says iOS service. Once that is done, you'll want to head over to your iPhone and download the app BLE Utility. When it finishes downloading, go ahead and open it and select the peripheral from the bottom navigation bar and turn on your Bluetooth. When that is done, you'll want to head back to your watch and find the AirLink card that says disconnected. You can then, you can then tap on it and the watch will then start looking for your iPhone. You then should get a message telling you that everything is good to go and your Android Wear smartwatch is now connected to your iPhone. Okay, so now you have your Android Wear watch connected to your iPhone, and you're probably feeling pretty cool, but just keep in mind that there are some limitations since this is just a workaround and is not officially supported by Google or Apple. For instance, you are not able to use any of the voice actions that usually come with an Android Wear watch or any of the Google Now cards that usually appear when your watch is connected to an Android phone. All this really allows you to do is check and clear notifications and see your phone's battery life. For me, this is not much of a trade-off because I found I did not really use any of those other features. I simply use my watch to check notifications, which this does perfectly. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and again, if you enjoyed what you saw, then don't be shy about hitting that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because I got a lot more awesomeness coming your way. Also, leave a comment down below if you're interested in seeing another art slash drawing video, and what you would like me to draw, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.